Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Kirchhoff's Law Ohm's law is applicable only for simple circuits. For complicated circuits, Kirchhoff's laws can be used to find current or voltage. There are two generalized laws Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's first law, that is the current law. Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at any junction in a circuit is zero. The convention is that the current flowing towards a junction is positive and the current flowing away from the junction is negative. Let 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 be the conductors meeting at a junction O in an electrical circuit. Let I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5 be the currents passing through the conductors respectively. According to Kirchhoff's first law, I1 plus minus I2 plus minus I3 plus I4 plus I5 is equal to 0 or I1 plus I4 plus I5 is equal to I2 plus I3. The sum of the currents entering the junction is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the junction. This law is a consequence of conservation of charges. Kirchhoff's second law. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the algebraic sum of the products of resistance and current in each part of any closed circuit is equal to the algebraic sum of the EMF in that closed circuit. This law is a consequence of conservation of energy. In applying Kirchhoff laws to electrical networks, the direction of current flow may be assumed either clockwise or anticlockwise. If the assumed direction of current is not the actual direction, then on solving the problems, the current will be found to have negative sign. If the result is positive, then the assumed direction is the same as actual direction. It should be noted that once the particular direction has been assumed, the same should be used throughout the problem. However, in the application of Kirchhoff's second law, we follow that the current in clockwise direction is taken as positive and the current in anticlockwise direction is taken as negative. Let us consider the electrical circuit given in the animation. Considering the closed loop A, B, C, D, E, F, A, I1 R2 plus I3 R4 plus I3 R3 plus I3 R5 plus I4 R6 plus I1 R1 plus I1 R1 is equal to E1 plus E3. Both cells E1 and E3 to send currents in clockwise direction for the closed loop A, B, E, F, A I1, R2 plus I2, R3 plus I2, R2 plus I4, R6 plus I1, R1 plus I1, R1 is equal to E1 minus E2. Negative sign in E2 indicates that it sends current in the anticlockwise direction. Thank you for watching. 
Please subscribe this channel for more videos.